name is Sijibomi Ogundele. I am the Chief Executive Officer of Sujimoto Construction and we are here in Lagos. I'm a Nigerian by birth, African by blood, an entrepreneur at heart. I consider myself a multi-tribal Nigerian. I grew up in the streets of Agege. I went to school in the Asian city of Kaduna. My mother being a trader, I was nurtured within the walls of Okiami Market, filled with enterprising Igbo traders. What influenced my entrepreneurial character came from that. I am multilingual. I speak Aousa, Yoruba, French, Spanish. I even speak a little bit of Arabic and Japanese. I'm a philanthropist. My life purpose is to leave a positive impact on my generation. This is not about success or failure. This is about the desire to be my own master and the knowledge that no one controls my destiny but me. I have no plan B, no inheritance. So for me, success, it is non-negotiable. Many people say you don't put your eggs in one basket, but I practice what I call buffetology. I do business like I play the game of poker. I go all in. I put all my eggs in one basket, maximum two baskets. But ultimately, quality is the pillar of what we do. And our model is entangled with the definition of diligence. We always think about how we could do things faster, cheaper, and how we could do things better. At Sujimoto, we think customers first, employees second, and then my shareholders third. I tell my people very clearly, I tell them customer is king. Because think about it, without customers, we will be out of business. Wealthy people invest in strong, reliable assets, while others invest in liabilities they think are assets. That's why the rich get richer by investing in money-generating assets, while others get poorer by acquiring liabilities. Some people think acquiring a car is an asset. So when they make 20 million naira, bah, they buy a car for 10 M, they pay their rent for 5 million, and they invest just 5 million. For me, that is the beginning of failure. It is funny, but our society is filled with ladies evaluating men over the types of cars they drive. It's like um, a lady choosing a guy just because he drives a G-Wagon over a trader who doesn't drive a G-Wagon but is a strong business tycoon in Alaba. My point is, in order for us to create wealth, we must have a definite separation that distinguishes assets from liability. Currency of the new age is reputation. Money can be lost and easily regained, but reputation you cannot. Warren Buffett once said that there are two types of currency in today's world, the currency of money and the currency of integrity. Being a man of your word, keeping your promises, making sure that whatever you say is what it is. These principles are what build greatness. The Giuliano by Sujimoto is more than just a project. It is a game changer. A game changer that will redefine the way people live. It is inspired by the legacy of the great Medici family with the functionality of um, the 21st century lifestyle. It is a place that will live up to the Sujimoto philosophy where we bring exclusivity, location and quality all of this into one space. In designing the Giuliano, we understood that to be needed, we needed to be loaded. We went around Ikoyi and Banana Island. We toured all the best terraces and apartments. We were looking for standards to set and records to beat. We also needed the best location. We knew that Banana Island was the only location that would bring the true value of the Giuliano, where every square meter from foundation to finishing was going to be an experience of total opulence. With what we finally designed, the Giuliano would be the best terrace not only in Nigeria but in the whole of Africa. Aside from the private elevator for each house, oh yes, yes, every house has its own private elevator. The Miele kitchens, the Duravids or Zaha, these sanitary wares, the 2.8 meter doors from Italy. It is very important to note that not one drop of paint will be on the Giuliano. People say we are too loud, that we talk a lot, and our talks are mere words. That every time we are talking about 1 plus 1 equals 11, it doesn't make any mathematical sense. But of course, it's not mathematics, 
It is Motomatics. Success is like a game of chess to me. And I've learned a long time ago that to win this game, you have to understand the rules and regulations. And essentially, you must understand your competitors. You have to know your entry and exit strategies. You must know how to relate with the referees and the spectators. In the game of success, you have to be fierce. You have to be determined. And passion must be part of your game. You must be willing to take a lot of no's. In order to achieve your goals, you need to be willing to lose friends. You need to be willing to lose girlfriends and even family members. You must be willing to be misunderstood because so many people would argue with your dream as if it's their own. You must be willing to understand that being unreasonable is part of success and you must immerse your life into whatever project you are working on. Entrepreneurship is the toughest game ever introduced to mankind. Many people think I just came from nowhere but they do not know what Sujimoto is actually made of. One quality that highly successful people have in common is generosity. When you look from MK Abiola to Bill Gates, um, Tony Elumelu to Warren Buffett, you will see clearly that these people have impacted multiple generations. Someone once asked me and said, Suji, what drives you? What brings joy into your heart? Aside from, of course, doing deals and building luxury houses. I searched and I thought about it and I realized that what actually brings me joy and satisfaction the most is the knowledge that I had a strong impact in the lives of people around me. That I was able to eradicate poverty first for my immediate family, then from friends and colleagues. There is no nobility in poverty. We have to know that our destiny is in our own hands, not in the hands of the government. The deadliest virus in this generation is what I call the entitlement attitude. They believe that someone somewhere owes you something. No one owes you anything. But yourself we must fight for what we want in life i always say that success is not served a la carte it's a buffet you must go for it it is important we surround ourselves with assets not liabilities people with positive minds people who know where they are going in life we must eradicate our religious and cultural differences if musa from meduguri has a dream i should be there for him it wouldn't matter if he was Hausa or even if he was muslim I do not care if Ngozi is from Inewi, as long as she has a great character and the fear of God, I would marry her. Religious and cultural differences are the fastest way to ruin a nation.